Samsung Galaxy S2 phone high five. Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo. I'm hanging out with a good old friend of mine, Philip Byrne. We used to work together way back in the day, didn't we, Philip? I, I seem to remember that, yeah. Yeah, way back in the day. Way back in the day. Anyway, what do you got in your hand there? I have the Sprint version of the Galaxy S2. This is our newest phone. It's the slimmest 4G phone available on Sprint. It's actually the slimmest 4G phone on any network where you can find it. Philip, tell me what are the most compelling aspects of this new rocket ship from Samsung? It is very, very fast. This is the fastest smartphone that I've ever used. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Samsung Exynos processor. You won't find faster on a smartphone. It's great for running our awesome TouchWiz interface. It's great for playing games and showing movies. It's got an eight megapixel camera. It can shoot video in 1080p at high profile, which what? is similar video quality to what you'll find on a Blu-ray disc. So and what frame rate would that be? Jesus, I don't know, Mike. <laughs> it's got to be 30 frames cut, a second. Cut. <laughs> All right, it's going to be confirmed. Maybe 30, maybe 24. Any of those frame rates, it could be. You got a 50-50 shot. 50-50 raffle at it. Yeah. Now, I also was wondering about the TouchWiz 4.0. What's new in that? TouchWiz has an all-new interface design. It's got these widgets that are they're, they're very live, so they update over the internet. They're close together, so it has more of a magazine-like look and feel to it. Okay, so here we see some of the TouchWiz interface. As you can see, we've improved the widgets drawer on TouchWiz. Here's the widgets. And you get some very cool motion features, too. You can pan the phone left and right and it follows your motion there. And we have plenty of custom widgets available. You can also see here some of the motion features. So with two fingers on the phone, you can zoom in or zoom out just by tilting the phone. And that works on photos and also on web pages. Unnecessary zoom! Unnecessary zoom! What other differences between the AT&T and the Sprint and the T-Mobile can we expect? Uh -huh. They all use the fastest network available on the provider. The AT&T version is 4.3 inches to the screen. The Sprint and T-Mobile version are 4.5 inches. The AT&T and the Sprint versions both use our 1.2 gigahertz dual core Samsung processor. The T-Mobile is using a different dual core processor. On the Sprint version, you do have a 4G on and off toggle, which is always a popular request on Sprint's 4G phones. Um, one thing you'll also notice is that our widgets are resizable. So for instance, you can throw up a... Uh, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Some of our widgets are completely resizable. So here you can see, you can sort of drag that widget and make it larger and smaller. And that way you can see more or less content and arrange your home screen how you like. Tell me about that camera. Do we get autofocus? I, I want to jump into that camera because I'm, I'm, I love cameras. I'm a camera guy. You get 8 megapixel autofocus, touch focus. Uh, it's got a fully customizable camera interface so you can arrange your own shortcuts. Oh my god. And the camera is the same on all three phones? Yes. Same camera on all three phones. So here is the camera interface. As you can see, we've got plenty of features available. We've got lots of different shooting modes. But one of the things that I especially like about the interface is that you can edit the shortcuts on the camera. So if you're someone who switches shooting mode a lot, or if you often find yourself using macro like I do, you can just make those dedicated shortcut buttons so that they're always quickly available, no digging through the menus. 
Is that thing thinner than my iPhone? It is definitely thinner than whatever phone you are using right now. No way! This is the thinnest phone that you can buy, I promise. It, it thinnest phone you could buy within the next week until another Android phone comes out and it's like as thin as a piece of paper. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't see any phone ever, ever coming out that's better than this phone. That is a bold face lie. I'm probably lying about that. Yeah. So uh, let's do a little thin test here. Let's hold it up to the camera and show it. Mm. This is the supermodel you want to take home with you. That's the Adriana Lima. And there's just a lot of customizations options on this phone too. You can make folders, you can make shortcuts, you can put anything you like down here in the frequently used app drawer. And really do whatever you like with the phone. You can really make it yours. It's got some cool calling features, so there's lots of shortcuts. With the motion, you can turn the phone face down if you don't want to answer the call. You can set it, even though there's no send and end buttons, you can answer a call by hitting the home key or end a call by hitting the power button. If you want to make a call quickly, you just swipe to one side and it jumps right to the call. Or if you decide that you want to send that person a text message, you just swipe the other way and you're right into sending them a new text message. So there's a lot of little shortcuts throughout the phone that make it really nice and convenient to use. They just showed us something on the screen. Uh, a new way a new way to uh, socially interact as far as aggregating um, contacts together through different um, different online social sites. I got no idea what you're talking about there. I don't either. That yeah. was too much cell phone mumbo jumbo. One cool thing that it does have is it has keys air. Okay, tell me about that. The phone generates its own web page. So here we have keys running off of this phone and my Samsung laptop here is connected to keys so here you can see here's all the photos I have on the phone here are my ringtones I've got videos that I've recorded on the phone or stored on the phone my web bookmarks my contacts my music all of the Samsung Galaxy S2's use an MHL port which is a mobile high definition link which means that the USB port also doubles as HDMI so as you can see we've got our gorgeous TV up here and you can see whatever I do on the phone screen, I also do on the TV itself. So if you've got videos stored on here, you can show them over HDMI. If you record videos or if you've got videos stored or any of your photos, or even if you just want to play games up there on the big screen, you can do that with these phones. So I've been hanging out with my good friend Philip Byrne. I am Mike Perlman from Techno Buffalo. We just looked at the Samsung Galaxy S2. Be sure to go to technobuffalo.com for all of the Galaxy S2 specs, pictures, videos, you name it. Wallpaper, bedroom set, uh, pillowcases. Um, until next time, I'm going to see you guys in the wild.